Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. The original. The original. Oh no. Well, the well, it's a DS port for the English version because the original was on the Game Boy Advance in Japan. Yes. Yes. But it's now it's 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 out on the Game Boy. Well, it's out on the DS now. Well, it's been out on the DS for like ten years. And now let's get but, in. Oh shoot. Well, I, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna say now. Yeah, he actually recorded this earlier, but one little mistake, uh... <clears throat> one little mistake happened, and, uh... Yeah, so we'll just go through this again. Not like it matters to me. Damn it, why me? I can't get caught. Not like this. Oh yeah, Asian is make as has unique voices. Gotta find someone to pin this on. Someone's like him. Oh yes. I'll make it look like he did it. Oh yeah. Yeah, Asian has like weird voice acting for all the characters based on their objection sound clips. Like or how I think it it, it looks to fit them. Boy, am I nervous. Reading. Right. Although, I don't I don't think I can do females. Oh, hi, Chief. Oh, God, I made it on time. Well, I have to say Phoenix. I'm, I'm impressed. Not everyone takes on a murder trial right off the bat like this. It says a lot about you and your client as well. Um, thanks. Actually, it's because I owe a favor. A favor? You mean you knew the defendant before this case? Yes. Actually, I kind of owe him. Well, my current job didn't. He's one of the reasons I became an attorney. Well, that's news to me. I want to help him out any way I can. I just really want to help him. I owe him that much. It's over! My life, everything, is over! Isn't that your client screaming over there? <clears throat> yeah, death, despair, ah! I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna die! Sounds like he wanna die. He wants to die. Um, yeah. Ugh. Nick! Hey, hey there, Larry. Dude, I'm so guilty. Tell him I'm guilty. Give me the death sentence. I ain't afraid to die. What? what what's wrong, Larry? Oh, it's all, it's all over. I'm finished. Finished. I can't live in a world without her. I can't. Who? Who took her away from me, Nick? Who did this? Oh, Nick. You gotta tell me. Who took my baby away? Hmm. The person responsible for your girlfriend's death. The newspapers say it was you. My name is Phoenix Wright. Here's the story. Our first case is a fairly simple one. Somebody, somebody died. A young woman was killed in her apartment. The guy they arrested was an unlucky sap dating her. Larry Butts. My best friend since grade school. Our school had to say, when something smells, it's usually the butts. In the 23 years I've known him, it's usually been true. He has a knack for getting himself in trouble. Only I can say that, it's usually not his fault, he just has terrible luck. I know, I know, but I know better than anyone that he's a good, I, that he's a good guy at heart. And I do owe him for I do owe, I do owe him one, which is why I took the case to clear his name. And that's just what I'm gonna do. <clears throat> the court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Larry Butts. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is uh, ready, Your Honor. Uh, <clears throat> Mr. Wright, this is your first trial, is it not? Yes, Your Honor. I'm a little nervous. Your conduct during this trial will decide the fate of your client. Murder is a serious charge. For your client's sake, I hope you can control your nerves. Thank, thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, given the circumstances, uh, I think we should have a test to ascertain your readiness. Yes, Your Honor. Gulp and shaking, eyesight fading. 
The test will consist of a few simple questions. Answer them clearly and concisely. Please state the name of the defendant in this case. Who oh, is the Larry Butts? The defendant, well, that's Larry Butts, Your Honor. Correct. Just keep your wits about you and you'll do fine. Next question. This is a murder trial. Tell me what's the victim's name. Whew, I know this one. I've read the case before. I've covered it to cover it many times. Uh, it's well. Wait. Uh. Drawing a total blank here. Phoenix, are you actually sure you're up to this? You don't even know the victim's name. Oh, the victim. Well, of course I know the victim's name. I, um, just forgot. Temporarily. I think I feel a migraine coming on. Look, the defendant's name is listed in the court record. Just touch the court record button to check it out any time. Remember to check it off, too. I bet. Do it for me. Let's hear your... Let's hear your answer. Who's the it's victim? It's block. It's, uh... Mia Fey, of course. We're looking at the court record and see. We go to the court record and we go to profile and this is uh, who it is. Cindy Stone. Well, I look at Cinder Block an option. Um, the victim's name is Cindy Stone. Correct. Now tell me, what was the cause of death? She died because she was hit with a blunt object, as we saw. She was struck once by one object. Correct. You've answered all my questions. I see no reason why we should proceed. You seem, you seem much more relaxed, Mr. Wright. Good for you. Thank you, Your Honor, because I don't feel relaxed. That's for sure. Now, first, a question for the prosecution, Mr. Payne. Yes, Your Honor. As Mr. Wright just told us, the victim was struck with a blunt object. Would you explain to the court just what that object was? The murder weapon was this statue of the Tinker. It was found lying on the floor next to the victim. <clears throat> I see. The court accepts this into evidence. Oh boy. The statue. Right. Be sure to pay attention to any evidence added to them during the trial. The evidence is the only ammunition you have in court. Touch the court record button to check out. The court record, frequently. Huh. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call the first witness. The prosecution calls... The prosecution calls Mr. the defendant, Mr. Butts, to the stand. Um, Chief, what do I do now? Pay attention. You don't want to miss any information that might help your client's case. You'll get your chance to respond to the prosecution later, so be ready. Let's just hope he doesn't say anything, uh... Unfortunate. Uh oh. There he gets excited. Easily excited easily. This could be bad. <clears throat> Mr. Butts? Is it not true that the victim had recently dumped you? Hey, watch it, buddy. We were great together. We were Romeo and Juliet, Cleopatra and Mark Anthony. Um didn't they all die? I wasn't dumped. She was just she, was, she just wasn't taking my phone calls or seeing me. Never. What's it to you, anyway? What's it to you? Mr. Butts, that's what that's what you describe. What you describe is generally what we mean by doubt. In fact, she had completely abandoned you and was seeing other men. She just returned from the overseas with one of them the day before the murder. What do you mean, one of them? Lies! All of it! Lies! I don't believe a word of it. Your Honor? The victim's passport. According to this, she was in Paris until the, until the day before she died. Passport? Hmm, indeed. She appears to have returned the day before the murder. Dude, no way. The victim was a model, but not, did not have a large income. It appears she had several sugar daddies. Daddies? Sugar? Yes, or the men who gave her money and gifts. She took their money and used it to support her lifestyle. Dude! You can clearly see what kind of woman this Miss Stone was. Tell me, Mr. Butts, what do you think of her now? Right? I don't think you want him to answer that question. Yeah, Larry has a way of running his mouth in all the wrong directions. Should I... Well, just wait and see what happens. I mean, 
might be better, better not to get involved with this one. Well, Mr. Mats. Dude, no way. That cheat, she dog. I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna drop dead. Yeah. Yeah, and when I meet her in the afterlife, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Let's continue with the trial, shall we? I believe the accused motive is clear to everyone. Yes, quite. Oh, boy. This is so not looking good. Next question. Next question. You went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder, did you not? Well, did you or did you not? <laughs> well, maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't. Uh-oh. You went? What do I do? I know. I'll send him a signal. Tell. The. Truth. Again, we did see hear the voice in the very beginning, but you know this way we truly hear it. I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing in the apartment. I thought he was near the hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it's strange I look inside the apartment. Then I see her lying there, a woman, not moving, dead. I couldn't find my Record button. And 
point out contradictions in his testimony. Of course, I'm not really in any need to repeat them, so... First off, we gotta explain what, what the hell's happening. We have four, five, but I can count. Five exclamation marks at the top there, top right. And uh, those represent your health bar, kind of. And we can press or, and present evidence by sifting through uh, the uh, statements he's just made by uh, through his testimony. And uh, all you need. You don't really need to press right now, as pressing isn't significant in this case, but the next one will need it. Alright, so the contradiction evidence is here. Uh, I'm a statement, and the evidence is, I mean, here. No, here. Objection! And you know it works if the song completely stops, so yeah. You found the body at 1pm, you sure? Yeah. Yes! It was 1pm for certain! Frankly, I find that hard to believe. Your statement directly contradicts the autopsy. The autopsy notes that the time of death at some time after 4pm. There was nobody to, uh, no body to find out 1pm. How do you explain this 3 hour gap? Lies, we get more lies. See through one, and their whole story falls apart. 